Hello there guys, this is Sal speaking. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about my experience in the mountains. I had a really crazy experience. Um, basically decided to go to the mountains by myself. And one of the mistakes that I've made was the fact that I didn't actually uh, try out my gear before going to the mountains. And so here is a, a little clip of my experience. Unfortunately, some of the images that you will watch won't be 100% clear as I was like in the dark and in the middle of nowhere as well. But please enjoy it. Alright, I've been trying to light up a fire, which is kind of hard, especially because here it's very, very humid. And I'm still considering if I want to sleep here or not. This is basically the place. I don't know if you can see it, if there is enough light for you to see it somehow okay so I put a sausage here and I'm trying to cook it hopefully I'll be able to cook it and we'll see how it goes Alright, so the salt is supposed to be cooking very, very, very fast, which is good. I have my knife here, beautiful knife that I got in the States actually. The massive blade. Alright, now I'm going to put some beans in it. Um, I'm sorry you can't see me, but this is the tent and this is the tent I thought I had But unfortunately, it's not working properly. So I had to go down basically I have to go back home in order to go back home I need to walk at least one and a half hours and I need to go through Two tunnels and a night is not the best thing in the world. I guess but I'm gonna have to do it and um, Can you see the actual branch here? I just put branches around me, you can't really see it uh, to protect me from animals and that, you know, really, you know, can you see it? Yeah, a little bit. Uh, it seems to be working really, really well uh, because here there are a lot of animals. I've heard a lot of noises and it's kind of scary. But the good thing is like, uh, I kind of see something from afar. I'm kind of afraid. I have to... Can't see what that freaking thing is all about. I, I thought I saw some eyes from behind the trees. What the heck? But um, yeah, I'm, I just need to see the tent here. I just need to get the tent and, and get the heck out of here because unfortunately I can't set it up because it seems not to be working properly i don't know what's wrong about the tent but th there's definitely something wrong about this tent so i gotta fortunately i gotta leave okay i just packed everything up and i'm just leaving this place uh, i was very organized i had all the branches around me but unfortunately the tent is not working so i gotta just go back and this is the way so this is gonna be very intense it all started not too long ago when I decided to go to the mountains and so I packed a lot of things I guess that was one of the uh, the biggest mistakes that I've that I've done like as I was planning to go to the mountains and uh, my backpack was very heavy and uh, so what I did I got this backpack with a lot of things and then I uh, decided to uh, get into a scooter and I drove all the way to the mountains and uh, all of a sudden, you know, I found myself to do like this big climb which took me like an hour and probably an hour and a half to get there and as soon as I got there I tried to set up my tent and that was a complete disaster 
so like some lessons that I've learned from this experience is like before you go to the mountains always check your gear always check it if you have a tent just open it up and just make sure that the tent works because if you don't try it then you're gonna be in big troubles like I did and I had to walk down like another an hour and 30 minutes so I think that day I walked something like three to four hours which is like a big deal especially when you're like walking around with a very heavy backpack so just be careful with that also another really good thing to do is always tell your friends where you're going that's important I think I told one of my friends where I was going and um, so nowadays you can use whatsapp to show your position and your friends can see you in real time they'll be able to see where you are and so if something happens to you at least you know some people know that you know, always tell people your plans like maybe tell people that like at that on that day on that specific time you're gonna be climbing up a specific mountain okay that's very important to do one of the craziest experiences I had as I was in the mountains was the fact that, like the noises that you hear at night are very scary especially when you're by yourself and I had to walk like all the way through this wood this wood of trees and I think I saw like something like as I was you know walking around that place I, I think I saw some eyes like looking at me from some animals or something and I was also like listening to some like very scary sounds like the animals like screaming literally screaming especially birds I, I, I heard birds and a lot of different types of birds like screaming I was like unbelievable unbelievable and when you're by yourself even the slightest of noise is gonna be like a very very heavy and big noise so that was my experience and I wanted to post this because also like during my climb and while I was there one of the cameras I like, stopped working um, I think there was not enough battery or something and so I couldn't film uh, the whole experience completely so I'm really sorry that you know you won't be able to see the the whole experience but I thought to, to make a video as well just to let you know that that was crazy and scary and uh, it wasn't so exciting or so cool as it as it seems um, yeah also um, right now I am on my summer break so I'm very excited about that just trying to relax a little bit from university and from work as well been working in the hospitality business for three years in a row and that almost killed me and so right now I'm just like relaxing and uh, just enjoying my first summer after three years of work and after that I'm gonna start university again and hopefully I'll be able to make more videos as well um, this is something like I haven't been able to I haven't been able to do it as, as much as I wanted to do it because life is crazy so I hope you guys are out there are fine I thank you for your support uh, I'm very thankful for you know the fact that you're still here uh, no matter what and uh, even though like I haven't been able to, to make so many videos lately but thank you so much for your support and I will highly appreciate any support that you can give me um, yeah so feel free to support me on patreon every little thing can make a difference and I'm hoping to make more videos and like one video I want to make is about showing you like other like parts of Sicily that you usually don't see and I have a little project that I will share with you shortly it's a little bit kind of a crazy project but I think it's it's really interesting it's, and it's about travels and things like that so thank you so much for watching and remember if you feel sad you better call Sal bye bye